So the news came that I had a muscle tear of about 10 centimeters in my quadriceps and two and a half centimeters uh, wide. Today was my last day of rehab. After six and a half weeks, I couldn't take it any longer. The problem was, I will explain what I had as an injury, but the problem was that a week after I got injured, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel pain. The frustrating thing was that I didn't see improvements. I couldn't see any improvement as the weeks uh, went by. Let's go back a little bit um, to January 2nd. Uh, I went uh, on the winter camp with the first team to Algorfa in uh, Spain. It was a beautiful city, beautiful weather. Um, it was an amazing experience. I had to train every day twice. It was really enjoyable. At the end of the camp, we played a friendly game against Sparta Rotterdam from the uh, Netherlands. I got subbed in after 60 minutes, so I played 30 minutes. And after 12 minutes, I think, just jogging on the pitch, I felt something shoot up uh, my quadriceps, just like a cramp, you know? It was not that painful in the moment. I thought it was just uh, a little cramp or from all the, all the work of the week, some little stiffness. So I finished the game. I finished uh, the 18 minutes left. So at the end of the game, I stopped. So I stopped running. I, I had no adrenaline. And at the moment, I couldn't walk. I had so much pain. I had to shower. I couldn't walk. I had to, I had to change uh, location because I live in a big house with uh, three, others, three other players. One was coming from training and... Uh, was making a lot of noise. The next day after that happened um, was actually our last day um, of the camp. It was Sunday, and we had to we had to train obviously, but I couldn't. I stayed inside and got some treatment. Uh, I did some exercises, but we didn't have any medical equipment, so we so I had to wait till we till we came back. To Belgium to do a scan. So I did a scan the week after and they actually said, I mean, they didn't want to say how big uh, the tear was. I had a muscle tear, but they didn't want to say how big and it got me a bit confused because I already had a lot less pain. I pretty much couldn't feel anything anymore but they had this this weird reaction of they didn't want to say how big it was because I think they were scared to scare me so a few days after I met uh, the kinesist at our club and he explained it a bit uh, everybody looked at me with pity like I was dying or something because everybody already had heard the news except me I mean I expected something something had happened so the news came that I had a muscle tear of about 10 centimeters in my quadriceps and two and a half centimeters uh, wide that came like a big shock because that same day I went to do some testing of what I could do clinically and I could I could squat imagine I could squat with a 10 centimeter tear a week after we did another scan with the doctor and there was actually something to see there was there was fluid to see there was something to see every week I had no pain I could do literally, literally everything I didn't I didn't understand why why don't why don't you push me to my limits to see where I actually feel pain 
you know what I'm saying? It's the most frustrating thing because I know I could have already started training after three weeks, four weeks, but yeah, today it was finally over. My final day of rehab, hopefully of the season, because this was my third big injury of the year of the season. I already missed 20 weeks <coughs> of games. Damn. But like I said in my first video, these injuries have shown me that the hard times will always be there. And you just have to you just have to make the, the switch in your head. You have to focus on the things you can control and don't waste your energy on things you do not control. I am officially back with the team training and our next game is Sunday against uh, the first of the league. I hope um, I can make some minutes. I hope uh, I can be back because it, it's going to be a very pleasant game. It's going to be against a good opponent. I think it will be very enjoyable and it will be the perfect the perfect game to come back, I think. So if I do play some minutes, um, I will probably make a video about it, showing what I did during the game. Uh, so stay tuned. I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.